plugins in this video we will see how to install docker and azure ubuntu 22 virtual machine the process is same for all ubuntu versions first we will create virtual machine then we will install the docker then we will run the sample container connect to your azure portal then in search box search for virtual machine click on it click on create or click on create both are same so click on create then select the azure virtual machine then select the subscription if you have the free trial you will see free trial mine is not so i have selected the my subscription then resource group name see i have these many resource groups if you want to create new resource group for docker you have to click on create okay so i'm going to use the existing one then provide the name i'm giving docker ub vm 22 then select the region i'm okay with the, the current one then availability options i'm going with availability zone okay zones i want to only in zone one then security type i'm going with standard then Im images see by default see this is the recently used image so it has selected if you are unable to find the image here click on all images then search for ubuntu see we have the list of the ubuntu images so i'm going to install on ubuntu server 22 04 ls click on it select it close this one select then gen 1 see it has selected ubuntu server 22 04 ls version then architecture okay run with azure spot instant so if you want to run this with azure spot discount you have to select the checkbox i am not going to next size size is nothing but the number of cpus and memory so see this is a recently used one as i told again if you want to select different size click on all sizes select from the list and click on select okay i am going the first one select it select it okay next authentication methods i'm going with password authentication then provide the username i'm giving this is for only azure vm okay see password must satisfy the these conditions okay i'm giving then select the inbound ports i'm going with all these http 80 https and ssh okay next see this is the basic properties of the virtual machine next click on disks are click on here click on disks both are same click on it os disk see default it has selected 30 gigabytes i want to give 64 based on these sizes the charges will be increased os disk type i am going with standard ssd delete vm see if you if you want to del delete this os disk whenever if we delete this virtual machine so i'm selecting it the remaining options i'm not going to change i'm not going to attach create or attach any disks then click on networking public ip you have to select see we don't have any virtual network so it is going to create new one if you have if you have any virtual network in this us east region in this region we will be able to select from this drop down okay next subnet it is also creating new one public ip we must select the new or existing one so if you want to create new you have to click on create new because it is already created you don't want you have to click on none, but select the first one okay the remaining nick network security group and all i'm not going to change anything then click on management here also i'm not going to provide anything click on advanced here also same advanced if you want to provide any custom data you have to provide here otherwise click on tax i am not going to provide any tax at, at this moment click on review and create it is running validation see validation passed so this is the estimated cost okay so if you are okay with all the settings then you have to click on create if you want to modify anything you have to click on previous or just click on these tabs okay i'm okay with these settings click on create
deployment is complete. Click on go to resource, wait it is populating the information. See this is the public IP. See this is the information about Ubuntu 22 Azure virtual machine. So click on this public IP or click on connect then connect. See this is the username. Okay open putty if you want to install putty then install it. It is free to install free to download and install. Okay putty open it paste that IP go to appearance change the font Can okay click on then go to session click on open click on accept then provide the username here username is demo user provide the password of this user which we have provided see we have successfully connected to ubuntu mission let me let us verify whether this is ubuntu mission or not more slash etc OS hyphen release. See, we have installed Ubuntu machine 2204 LDS and this is the version and this is the version coding name. Okay. Control L to clear screen. See, until now we have created the Azure Ubuntu virtual machine. Now we will install the Docker on this Azure virtual machine. Okay. New tab, then go to docker.com. Click on developer, then click on documentation. Click on guides, click on manuals, then click on docker engine, then click on install, then scroll down. See here we have different Linux operating systems. So click on Ubuntu. See the required OS operating systems are this is these are Ubuntu 23.10, Ubuntu 22.04, and 20.04 LDS versions. Okay, we have four methods like bundle docker. This is the one and second is by using docker apt repository, third is install it manually, fourth is use a convenience script, okay. We are going to install by using this docker apt repository, okay. Scroll down here, we have the list of the commands to install docker. Before that, verify whether docker is installed or not, okay. So run the command docker hyphen hyphen version. See, we, haven't, we don't have the docker. Okay, this, see these are the list of the commands. So copy the command one by one, go to the shell, paste it and hit end. See it is just updating the packages. It is done. Next install the certificates and call application. Copy it, paste it and hit end. It is done. Install this key rings. Then download them. Copy it. Then modify the permissions. Then add the repository. See, copy this entire line. Hit enter. Then update the packages. See the next command. Control L to clear screen. sudo apt pt get update ok it is done next install the docker so here we have the two options specific version and latest so if you run docker hyphen hyphen version see with these commands we can install the 24 version but if you run this one it will install the latest one ok copy this one Paste it and hit enter. See, it is going to occupy 420 megabytes space on disk. Okay, type Y for confirmation and hit enter. See, it is installing Docker 25 version. See, we have successfully installed Docker. So, run command, control L to click, control L to clear screen, run command Docker version. See, we have installed the latest Docker version, that is 25.05. Okay, also we can verify the whether Docker is started or not. 
सो कमेंट इज सोड सिस्टम सी टी ए स्टेटस डाकर दिस टाइप See, Docker service is running and it is enabled. Okay, so no need to start or enable service. Q to quit, control L to clear screen. Now run the sample container. So, command is this is the command sudo Docker copy this one, paste it, hit enter. See, see, this is the output for this image. So, also, see here the first message unable to find image locally. So, it has pulled from the repository. Okay. So verify the list of the containers. Sudo Docker ps a. See, we have the one container. Let me maximize the screen. Run it again. See, this is the container ID. This is the image name. This is the command and created 46 seconds ago and status is exited. Okay. In the upcoming videos, we will see more about the containers. Next, if you want to stop or restart the docker on azure virtual machine use the command sudo systemctl systemctl restart docker verify sudo systemctl status docker see we have restarted or started 8 seconds ago q to quit control n if you want to stop sudo systemctl stop docker it is stopped if you want to st again verify see docker is stopped again if you want to start it is started okay so in this video we have seen how to create azure ubuntu 22 virtual machine and then we have seen how to install the docker on it then we have seen how to run the sample container for more Dakarar DevOps videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.